excited that we get to show you these. Oh my goodness, hello! Look at these new mini tailor mirrors draft and they are so cute. So this is the mirror I always use, the the big one. They drop these little mini ones. I've been waiting to unbox them until they drop, so let's open them. They're so cute! Um, there's only two colors though right now. There's this purple color and then there's this uh, like tannish nude color. Or, I don't know, is that tan or is that beige to you? Maybe that's beige. I don't even know what color they would call this, but um, these are nice, especially if you have a smaller purse. This will probably fit a little bit better, which we're gonna see how well it fits in a smaller purse that I have. But this is so exciting because I love my tailor mirrors. They are just the bomb.com. It's nice we have a mini version. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Dad. Hi, Corey. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so these just dropped yesterday or the day before. Um, look at how stinking cute they are. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Okay, this is the size difference. So this is the regular one that I use for makeup. This is like a mini version to keep in a purse. Or you actually, this would be nice in like um, your glove box in your car because it won't take up a lot of room. And it has the same features as the other one. So it has the little ring light and then it has the three different light modes. So here's the warm tone, here's the white tone, and then you can also dim it by holding it down or rebrightening it. Um, and then it'll shut off as well like that. And then you got the 10X zoom mirror on this side. How stinking cute. These are so cute. I'm putting, I'm putting one of each in my cars. I am putting one of each in my cars. I actually hope they drop some more colors because I, I need three of them. I have three cars, so I need three mirrors. I need three mirrors. Uh, but let's, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Let's see how it fits in a purse because I carry a lot of small purses, so I'm very excited about this. Um, here's a newer, oop, just drop that. Actually, this purse isn't too small. I guess it's kind of like a medium size, which this one would fit in here. This one would fit in here, but it would take up a lot of room. So this little one takes up way less space, but actually, I have a super small purse. My smallest purse. I'm curious if I'm curious if this will fit because this is my smallest purse that I have. It fits. It'll fit. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, you can like my phone barely fits in this purse, but could I fit both of these in there? Well, my case takes up so much room, so that's kind of the problem. Is my phone case, but Wow, I can put both of them in there. That's crazy. So it fits in a really small purse too, if you have a really little purse. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Adorable. But yeah, these just dropped. These are going to sell out, I'll tell you that now. They are going to sell out. Every time we drop a new tailor near, they sell out. If you want to check it out or if you want to grab yours, you can just say hashtag fancy. And they are also rechargeable so they don't need batteries or anything. I probably charge mine every three months probably so and that's with me that's with me using it like every single day so the charge lasts a really long time but that is so exciting adorable so if you want to check out the new fancy mirrors just say hashtag hashtag fancy and you can get yours this is the tan color this is the purple it's kind of like a pastel purple i don't know which one i like better i almost like the tan one better it's kind of nice to have just a classy nude color. And then we're going to do my nails today at the end of the live once my makeup is done. But this is the nails we're going to do. They're neon. They're neon yellow, but then they have a like a pearl holographic shimmer on top. So they glow. This is what my toes look like, but my toes are a French tip and they have this chrome on top. So, and these are a short length. So we're gonna do this. I'll show you how to put these on at the end of the live. We're gonna put them on quick. Um, how much are they? I bought the same from Costco for $19.99. Um, I'm not sure how much they are with my discount code because they'll be a set price. And then you put a discount code on top of it. 
I've had a lot of other lighting mirrors and honestly, the fancy ones are the best. The fancy ones are way brighter than any other ones that I've tried and actually like hold the charge really, really long. Yeah, if you just do hashtag fancy, it'll send you a link. So if you go like this, hashtag fancy, no spaces and it should work. Um, but let's do our makeup quick so then we can get all girly and do the nails and all the fun things. Um, aren't they pretty, the nails? They're so cute. Okay, we are going to start with me fake ID. Me fake ID, the fake ID, all right? And fake ID is good for a lot of things, but mostly wrinkles, which we like, which I don't, can you guys tell how beautiful my skin has been lately? It's so pretty. Um, rapidly diminishes the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, ashiness, sun damage, clogged or enlarged pores and breakouts. That's what fake ID is for. Fake ID, if you want a link to this, you can do hashtag BS. Um, and it doesn't have any perfumes in it or anything. It's natural based, it's vegan, all made in the US. Then I'm using Youth Accelerator on top of this. And this is a step two, or no, step three product. So you use these in order. Every time you order a skincare product, they'll have a number on it. And you wanna use them in order, like one, two, three, four. So that they work together. Any plans for the weekend? Um, there's a lot of car shows this weekend, so probably go to a few car shows, I'm thinking. But it's kind of cooled down a little bit. It's only like 70 degrees out today. Um, yeah, just do hashtag BS for the skincare. Hashtag BS. Um, the Youth Accelerator has apple stem cells in it to um, reverse aging. Um, this potent potion will be blah, 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 blah. Anti-aging serum loaded with state-of-the-art technology. Uh, apple stem cells and this is this is mostly for wrinkles this is like kind of just um specifically for wrinkles whereas the other one like the fake id is for like a bunch of other stuff but this one's more specifically for wrinkles um but there's that so those have been my my two new favorites and then i've been using what's the one i've been using at night oh, i don't remember what it's called but it kind of has like an orange color to it but i've been using that one at night and i freaking love it I love it. My skin is just always soft all the time, 24 seven. And I have no more flaky skin. Like all my flaky dry skin I used to get on my face, all gone. It's amazing. If you go, they have a lot of skincare cause uh, the company is known for their skincare. So if it gets a little overwhelming and you don't know what to get, they have a skincare quiz on the website. So if you take that, it'll tell you what to get. Okay, that's what I did. And then I ended up buying some other stuff separately depending on what I wanted. So like obviously wrinkles and stuff like that. But really, really good. All right, in with the illuminating primer. Can you believe like this has looked like this for like a month and it's there's still product coming out of it i just can't believe that magic it's magical thank you yeah isn't my skin just looking so fine lately so much better hi cindy my skin's just so much so i have i have really sensitive skin in general and i have like a lot of food allergies so my skin always gets like really inflamed and um irritated but this skincare has really helped like tone down that a lot. Like it's just so nice. So, so nice. I gotta get my mom on this skincare because it really, I've noticed such a big difference in just like the appearance of my skin and the softness and the smoothness is just it's remarkable, remarkable. My BB cream is skinny like your tube. Oh my gosh, see my, my BB cream gets like that too and it, you think you're gonna run out and it still keeps pumping out, it's crazy. But that's what I'm putting on right now with BB cream. I'm doing my, oh, we need to take lashes off. These are the purple lashes. I don't know if you can tell, but they fade purple. I decided to copycat my sister Josie because she always, this is her this is her favorite style lash. She always wears these purple lashes. These are called um, Posy, but they're black and they fade purple. And she, this is pretty much the only lashes she wears. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna copycat her because I always like them when she wears them. So whipped out a pair of Posy lashes and I really like them. 
I'd say they're a medium lash. They're not natural, but they're like a medium. All right, BB cream. If you don't like a lot of makeup on your face, but you just want to even out your skin tone, this would be a really good product for you to try because it's a moisturizer, but it has tint to it. So it'll even everything out, but it doesn't feel like you're wearing foundation. It literally just feels like if you put moisturizer on, it's amazing. So this is pretty much all I wear. Uh, instead of full coverage foundation now, I pretty much only wear this and then I'll put powder on top of it just to set it. But I love how natural it looks and it's just, it doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles like a foundation would because it's just so light. And I just think it looks so pretty on the skin. Like you'll see right here, two seconds, like how nice it looks. Pretty much the only thing I've been obsessed with since it dropped is this BB cream. It's just so good. It's so good. And I'm using the shade light medium. Like your tan. Thank you. God, I'm kind of losing my tan because it's been um, cloudy here, which is kind of a bummer. But, oh, I wonder if I could put my inner skin treatment in my, my turmeric drink. I should try it but yeah you just you can put this on with your hands if you really wanted to I'm not going to because I don't want to get that all over my hands but kabuki brush works good too but look at how nice and pretty that looks on the skin game changer I really need to drop some of this off for my mom she does not like to wear foundation, but I think she would actually like to wear this because it's so, it's so natural looking. Look at how pretty that is. And it looks so natural. What you using? The BB cream. You would probably really like this too because you're more into the natural looks too. But yeah, it's just, it's so lightweight and it looks so nice. You can get this on my Kamingo link, by the way. You can pick out like three different items down there and it'll give you a discount. It'll give you um, a Twisted Mascara, free shipping, and 20% off if you wanted to try it. But I'm using the color Light Medium. But, oh yeah, I wonder if this will taste, I think this is flavorless, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is, uh, it's called Infused Inner Skin Treatment. I haven't really started consuming a lot of it yet, but it's um, hard to read the lettering on here. Vegan formula, gluten-free, clinically proven. It's uh, basically like hydration from within because you know you put skincare and like stuff on top of your face. This is like you consume it and it helps hydrate your skin from the inside out. Um, and it says to use one scoop with eight to 12 ounces of water. Oh shoot, I don't have... That's a little late. That's a little less than eight ounces of water. Vegan, GMO free, dairy free, soy free, preservative free, paleo friendly, selfish, self shellfish free, nut free. Oh my goodness! Um, and then it also has vitamin C, B three, B six, B twelve, and magnesium. But basically, what this is is it's hyaluronic acid, and you just put it in water or smoothie or whatever. Oh, it does kind of smell fruity, but I, I'm going to try it in here. I'm going to try it in here and see if you can like taste it, but I'm not going to do a full scoop because, because it, that's less than eight ounces and I don't want to put too much in and then it like tastes weird, but I just dumped some in there. I have to test it out. Um, I think my Quadra is coming tomorrow. Ooh. Have you, have you been using Quadra or is this your first time you're going to start using it? I'm curious. Oh, we probably need a frother to mix this in here because it's kind of, it's kind of chunky. Maybe I just need to mix it up a little bit longer. Um, how can I purchase just the BB cream? You can just purchase it down there on the Kamingo link. You can pick one thing. You don't have to pick three items. You can just pick one item. When you click on it, you can pick what shade you want as well. So just click the link that's pinned on the video. I'm trying to like crush this with my, my glass straw. There I kind of mixed it up a little bit better. There's a couple little chunks in there still though. 
but I can't really taste it in here although this does taste a little smoother so that's exciting I'm excited to try that start putting it with my turmeric um anyways so here's the bb cream and then i like to set it with a little bit of powder so the powder's also linked down there by the way uh my first time oh i'm so excited for you hi lisa i'm so excited for you to start using it now with the quadra because it's a growth um lash growth mascara you got to keep using it so make sure you use it as much as possible so like i use mine pretty much every day uh, unless for some reason I'm not like going anywhere that day and I don't put mascara on. But basically stop using your other mascara and only use the Quadra. And if you keep doing that, you will start seeing a difference in your eyelashes. Like it's it's not going to be right away. Just like if you go to the gym, you're not going to see abs right away. You got to give it a little bit of time. But I promise you, if you keep using that Quadra, your lashes are going to look so much better. I've noticed such a huge difference in my lashes i don't know if you saw the video that i posted this morning but my lashes look so good it's crazy they look so nice hi Lori. hi connie yeah eyelet press powder i'm gonna need to open a new one of these because we're almost out but yeah i just like to put a little bit of this on top it just mattifies it and then if it's really hot out it really helps with heat it's really not that hot out today but i'm just doing it for a little added coverage but this has been my go-to all summer long is that BB cream with this powder on top. I don't know what it is, but I just love the way it looks. And my skin isn't dry and flaky anymore, so I can wear more powder without it looking crazy on me. When you have really dry, flaky skin, you usually don't want to use powders. But now that my skin is thriving, I'm loving the powder so much. It's just looks so nice and it's so light it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face and i love that the only time i don't love it is when i forget that i don't when i forget i have stuff on my face and then i go rub my face on something then then i get a little upset you know i'll like put a sweatshirt on or something and i completely forget that i have foundation on and then i get it all over my sweatshirt i'm like you know that's the only downfall is you forget that you're wearing it but bronzer medium I use mascara every day, so I will use it. Okay, good. Oh, I'm so excited for you to use the Quadra. Quadra is also linked on my Kamingo link. I love that you say Quadra. I feel like counting in Spanish. Oh my gosh, that's so funny, right? Quadra. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Yeah, it's Quadra because there's four. It's four different products all in one. That's why it's called that. Color in the powder is the shade Eyelet. So if you are the shade light medium in the BB cream, then you would need the shade Eyelet in the press powder. And the press powder is a little bit different than other press powders because it's like really creamy. So it's not so much chalky like a lot of powders are. It's kind of, it's so weird, but when you touch it, it's super soft. Um, so that's really nice about it too because it tends to look better on dry skin if you do have dry skin versus other powders. Uh, I will take before and after pictures for you. Oh yes, please do. Thank you. I would love that. See, that's the thing is I always forget to take before and afters, but I need to, I'm sure I could find like an old picture of my lashes somewhere um, from like a couple months ago and post it before and after because my lashes are just insanely long and beautiful right now. And they're so thick before before they were kind of like it was weird because i had some long ones and i had short ones and then it was kind of patchy and now it's just like they're all long they're all thick and it they look so good i don't know it's so exciting okay bronzer in medium bada bing bada boom okay then you're gonna blend this all out blendy 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 yeah, it's actually quite impressive how well this stays on in really hot, humid weather. Like 90 plus degrees, this stuff does not budge. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's also crazy that this has replaced my serum foundation obsession. Your face is glowing, thank you. 
I'm telling I I'm telling you, I swear, I swear by this new skincare. I swear by it. It works so good. When I first started trying it, I was like, okay, this is whatever, you know, cuz you you when you first start using something, you're not going to see results right away. But I'm like, you know, I'm going to trust the process and I'm going to keep using it and I'm going to do it in order like it says to do. And literally, yeah, like I would say like two to three weeks, then I really started to notice a big difference in my skin. And now I'm just like, I'm never going back to anything else again. It's just, y'all, yeah, skincare really does make a big difference. Kiko and Mika are good. They're actually quiet today. I'm really surprised how quiet they are right now. But like even, even the texture of my skin is so much smoother. Like, look at that. The texture is just, ooh, mm, it's beautiful, beautiful. And I'm telling you right now, like if you're scared to try a skincare, just try it. They have a 12 month love it guarantee. So if you don't like it, just return it. You know what I'm saying? But it's so good. And everything, I like that it all comes in glass containers. Glass, we love good glass containers. And then when you need to refill it, you just get a refill packet. You don't have to pay for the full package. So it's actually cheaper the second time you buy it. Um, and then they also have subscription options. So if you're going to get it every three, four, or five months, you can save money doing it that way too. So it's just so much easier. So much easier. Um, okay, then I'm going to do sisterly blush today. Um, the cross necklace. Hey, Hannah, how do you keep your cross necklace so sparkly? Mine doesn't sparkle like yours. Well, I do have a lot of lights like on right now. So that's probably why it looks really sparkly. Um, but yeah, it's probably just my lights. So smooth and hardly any redness prior to makeup. I know it's like so nice. I, I wish I had a bunch of money and I wish I could just gift you all a set so you could try it because it's just that's how much I freaking love it if you want to check out the skincare do hashtag bs that's where it's from but it's just chef's kiss so good I love it I'm married yes this is not a dating website this is a makeup page why are you here go on a dating website don't be dumb don't be dumb. Why do men always come on the live and want to date? It's like, this is not the place for that. This is not the place for that. Go away. Shoe fly. All right. Luminizer in golden for a little extra glow. Not like we need it because my face is literally shining right now. But we'll do a little bit of golden right here and right there. Bada bing, bada boom. So that's my whole base. And most of these products you can get bundled down here. Otherwise, if you need a specific color, color match and you want to try this bundle, you can just comment hashtag match in the comment section and then just pick what bundle you want. Um, <laughs> leave this girl alone. Exactly. Leave this girl alone. Please go away. Shufla. Hold on. Let me go like, why? Facebook is so dumb. It won't let me click on people's comments. It's like the dumbest thing since Facebook has been dumb for the last million years. Um, here we go. I just banned them from the page, I think. I think I banned them. <laughs> go away, exactly, go away leave us alone please what was that oh my gosh did you ever see that funny um that funny video with the the song voiceover thing and he's like please leave me alone leave me alone please leave me alone that's all i can think of now and he's like like smacking something on a pan for like a bait like bass so funny please leave me alone do you guys know what i'm talking about if not i will pull up a video because that's what i'm thinking of right now in my head is that freaking video please leave me alone leave me alone i don't remember how exactly it goes but something something along that lines it's hilarious strangers see me in black oh you know yeah you know i haven't worn black for a while it is kind of weird hey eh? been wearing a lot of colorful shirts lately 
I used to wear black all the time and then I switched it out and started wearing colors again. But, okay, brows. If you don't, if you don't block them, they start to post stupid comments. They literally do. It's like so weird. Let me see if I can find that video real quick. It's so funny. It's just his voice sounds funny. I think it's got to be on here. This song. This is what I'm going to think of every time someone comments on my video, like a weird guy. Please leave me alone. just like uh, his voice and like the beat is so funny that's like all that's ex instantly when i thought thought of please leave me alone hilarious so now we can think of that song whenever that happens i wish you could like wouldn't that be funny if you could make like little you could put little sound clips in your live video and i could like go like this and it would like play that sound clip and we could all dance for two seconds please leave me alone <laughs> Oh my gosh, so funny. Please leave me alone. Honestly, though, us women might need that just like on a keychain where we could just pu push a little button when somebody's annoying us and then it would just start saying that. Please leave me alone. <laughs> it would be hilarious. I should get my birds to dance to that song. That would be really funny. Please leave me alone. Okay. Brows we really don't need to do much with because I filled them in this morning before I went to the gym. Very nice. Do I need to do anything else? Probably not. It, it's kind of, weather is so weird. It kind of feels like fall and I'm, I don't, I don't know if I'm ready for fall yet. Are you ready for fall yet? I am not ready for fall yet. I feel like they rush fall every year and we just are not in a hurry to get there. Yes, a video with a taser attack. Oh my gosh. Scary. What liquid shadows are available right now? I'm a man who first found you from Lambo Page, but also work with HMUA and for shoots, probably the best makeup tutorials online. Thanks, Brett. Thank you very much. Um, I actually, I was at a car show or it's like a little car meetup last night. I think it was last night. And this uh, older gentleman came up to me and he says he, he watches my Lambo page stuff, but then he's like, he's mentioned stuff about my makeup stuff too. And it's so cool. I didn't realize like so many guys watch my makeup tutorials. Like I don't mind guys watching my makeup tutorials, but I, I don't like when guys come on here and try to hit on me. Then I'm just like, okay, go away, go away. But it's pretty crazy how many guys like to watch makeup, it's cool. You're getting a lot of rain. See today it's super overcast, but it, I don't know if it's gonna rain or not. Um, we could do business like we could do wow there's so many liquid shadows that are restocked right now did you see that the green shadow is available uh the blue giggly business like ornate oh we should wear ornate today we should do ornate reverent and exalted we could do uh ordinate and reverent yes this is that bronze color that i say is always slept on it's a really pretty color and a lot of people don't use it, but it's beautiful. So let's do that color. Ordnance, I think, Leslie, I think you said you just ordered ordnance, didn't you? I'm pretty sure you said you just ordered it. Not that long ago. Um, guys are cool to watch also. They might tell wives and girlfriends to buy. Oh, yeah, maybe. I've had, uh, I've had guys buy their wives' makeup quite a few times. Quite a few times. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Trash. I'm bringing it back. I just bought this brush cleaner. I was trying to find a brush cleaner because my unique one is almost completely gone and it's not on the website anymore. So I found this is the only one I could find. 
and it's called Brush Bath Instant Brush Cleaner. It's by by Ulta, I think. It brushes for Ulta. Um, and I just sprayed it and it smells like pure perfume. I think. I don't know. Let me try again. This is the first time I'm using it. Does it? It smells like perfume. I don't see perfume on here though. Lavender oil, citrus, peel extract, lemon peel extract. Maybe it doesn't have perfume in it. I feel like it does though. It smells like perfume. I won't use it if it has perfume. It says it has oils in it. Mm, may it does. It does smell like lavender though. Oh, at first I was like, I was ready to throw that in the trash. Actually, I could have returned it because I just bought it, but I was like, ain't no way I am going to use that if it's full of perfume. Okay, good. I don't see perfume on the back. That's close call. Uh, especially the jewelry. Yeah, I mean, some men buy the jewelry too. I use a lot, one of your favorites, the Obert. All right, here we're gonna start using the Obert. So this is the Liquid Shadows. These are really, really good if you are bad at blending, if your eyeshadow never stays on, or if you have hooded eyes. This is really good for all that. This is really old, so I don't know if it's gonna work anymore because it's kind of dried out. But you just brush it on with the little applicator, and then you're gonna blend it out with your brush, okay? And these are, in my opinion, a lot easier to blend than regular eyeshadows. So if you have a hard time with that, very nice for that. And then they don't drop eyeshadow all over your face. You know when you blend out eyeshadow and it ends up all over your cheeks and it makes a mess? This doesn't do that. So it basically solves all the normal problems that you would have. I know, right, Danny? Fragrance. Look, it solves all the problems that you would normally have putting on eyeshadow. So these are, these are great. But yeah, this one is super dried out. This is really old. Do I have a new one? I don't think I have a new one. Time to order a new one. I haven't used this in so long and this one, I'm not gonna lie, this one is probably like, it's over a year old for sure. Might be close to uh, a year and a half old. So it's pretty old but it's still working somewhat decent, so that's good. But I'm gonna need to order a new one. Bronze for the win. Nice neutral color. So on the lid and then in the crease. And don't worry, we're gonna clean up the edges, so. Love that color. What liquid color would you say is really, really good with dark brown eyes? Ooh, dark brown eyes. Honestly, you have dark brown eyes, so you can pretty much wear any color you want because you have a neutral eye color. You could do any color you want. I really like warm tones on brown eyes because it brings out the warmth in your eyes. So I would say like golds, coppers, stuff like that would be really pretty. Pretty on your eyes, but you can literally wear whatever color you want. You ordered over it. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought is you ordered this one. I'm gonna need to order a new one because this one's, I probably need to order at least like a couple more because some of those in there are pretty old. You're from Poland, hello. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And I'm just using the fluffy crease brush to blend, blend this out. All right, I'm gonna go a little higher. Oh, I wonder if I sprayed. I wonder if I put a little bit of setting spray in here if it would make it more liquidy. It's pretty dry. Oh my gosh, I can, every time I try to open this, I can't get it open. I'm gonna have to take the top off of it and leave it off. <gasps> Dropping stuff. Okay, this is a trick I've done before on other products, but I don't think I've ever tried it with the liquid shadow because this might just be too dry. I'm gonna try it though and see if it helps.
because I'm thinking if it's dry, it's probably like dried on the side. Oh, here we go. I'm like rubbing, I'm going in circles and rubbing it off some of the sides here. Oh, it worked, it worked. Oh wow, it worked, okay. So if your liquid shadow starts to get, if you forget to screw on the top too tight or something, just spray a little bit of setting spray inside. It will help liquefy it a little bit better. But here we go. Beautiful, okay. I'm trying to think how dark I want to go and like how much I want to fan this out, but isn't this a pretty color? It's very pretty. Do we want to smoke out? I think we do want to smoke out the underneath of the eyes too. I think that would be pretty. What do you think? I think that would be pretty. So let's put a little bit underneath the lower lash line too. Just a smidgens. A little smoky eye effect. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I think we should do this with like gold or copper. Probably gold, I think gold would probably match this better than copper would. Plus we kind of just did copper, so definitely we should do gold today. A little bit of gold. Oh no, we're gonna do Reverent. Reverent will look really good with this too. And Reverent is a liquid shadow, so. This is Reverent right here, and it is a, just like a peachy champagne, well, champagne color. This one, I for sure have to order a new one because this is my most used one and it's almost gone. It's still liquid, but there's like hardly any product left in here. It's holding on by a thread. Bam, see, isn't that a pretty color? Really pretty. And you're gonna wanna use a flat brush like this. You don't wanna use a super fluffy one like I did before for putting stuff on the lid like this. That's pretty. Oh, smoky. I'm gonna add more. I kinda like how this side's brighter. I'm gonna add more on this side. Make it pop. That's This is your go-to combo. So obviously it seems like in the comment section I am missing out on this combo because I've seen multiple people in the comment section say they really like ordnance. So maybe I'm the only one that's sleeping on it. Everybody else is using it already. <laughs> whoopsies. That's my new favorite word lately is whoopsies. Whoopsies. I've just been saying that a lot lately. And I love it. Sounds cute. Whoopsies. All right, we need to clean this brush. Clean this brush. Gosh, I don't know. The initial, the initial time, like the initial smell when you spray this brush cleaner smells like a perfume. Like it smells, unless they just put a crap ton of lavender oil in here. Cause it says it has oils. So maybe they just put like a lot of oil in it and it's just like super smelly when you first pump it out. But it smells like there could be perfume in it. So maybe they have a secret word on here that stands for perfume. But I don't see anything on here that says it, so. Anything that even looks like it would be perfume. It says all extracts. Citrus lemon peel extract, lemon peel extract. Citrus peel extract, so I don't know. Hi Ruby, I love the color on your eyes. It goes very well with the shirt. It does actually look really well with the shirt. And I have camel pants on, so it'll match our camel vibe today and then i'm gonna take a little bit so now we're gonna clean this up so it looks nicer so we're gonna take a little bit of our bb cream and you just do a little swipey swipe i'm debating on doing wings today should we do winged eyeliner or skip wings i've never played mortal kombat but i've heard of it a guy on the game always says whoopsies oh that's funny whoopsies yeah, that's like my new favorite word. Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. Um, what is the plans for the weekend? Probably car shows. Lots of car shows this weekend, so I'll probably do that. See how easy that is though to just clean up the eyes just by doing a little swipe like that and then you tap it out. Um Hi, Rhonda, what's poppin'? Do wings? Okay, we have one vote for a winged eyeliner. 
Should we do wings or no wings today? This kind of gives it a wing effect already, but do we add wings or do we not? Do you think this is enough or do you think we need to add additional wings to this? Oh, I feel like this one is swooping up and this one's kind of swooping like out. We need to like, this needs to come up like upward, I feel like. I'm gonna redo that. Go like that. Um, no wings. Wings! I don't know if you should or you shouldn't. I like the way it looks too. We got a creeper. Oh no. Seems kind of like a tie. I mean, we, we don't necessarily have to because this makes it look like we have wings already. Man, I'm really riding the struggle bus on this side. I'm, I'm accidentally wiping away too much. We need to fix this. It keeps wiping away too much product and it needs, this needs to be even with the eyes like that. This one does too. So I'm gonna redo both these sides because I think I was looking at the comments a little too much and not paying attention. Too fancy eye look. Block, block. Um, okay, it sounds like we should not do wings, so we'll skip wings today. Oh, okay. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Wait, we need our, we need our, um, hold on. Give it a moment. Give it a moment. I am. Okay. I just need to have that on speed dial, that song. Please leave me alone. All right, let me try this again. Both ways look good. Yeah, I agree. Okay, that looks better. We want to keep it even with the eyes. I was starting to cut up into the eye and that did not look good. So now with these, these colors are metallic, so they'll look slightly different depending which way your head is, because they reflect light. But look at how pretty. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of white shadow, just like up and around here. I feel like we should try to blend this up just a little bit higher, just a tiny, tiny bit. And then I'm going to take, actually, yeah, 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 never mind. I was going to say we should do luminizer, but that would be too sparkly. We need just eyeshadow or pressed powder or something. I'll do pressed powder. We will do scarlet. Ooh, a frosty lip. Is that what we're going for? We need frosty lips with this. That would be pretty, but what color? Like a pink frosty? Like the my natural color frosty, you think? That would be pretty. Yeah, because usually when you do dark eyes like this, you want to keep the lips simple and lighter. You don't want to do a dark lip. So I'm liking the idea of a frosty pink. Okay, this is just a little bit of the Scarlet Press Powder. And now we will get on to the lashes. Here we go. Um, okay, hold on. We gotta, we've got to ban another person. Okay, I just banned that other person. Watch out for scam accounts, by the way. Somebody messaged me the other day. There is a fake business, business page account that looks just like this one and they're telling people that they won a prize just you know that's not me that is not me that is somebody trying to scam you yes pink okay pink it is that is a good idea frosty pink lip probably with like a mauve mauveish lip liner i like that i like that idea a lot i like it a lot let's curl our lashes again I curled them this morning already, so I don't know how well they will curl right now because we have a lot of mascara on. Like, look at all those eyelashes. Crazy. That's crazy. That's so crazy. I think, do I have an extra 
Quattro. I should give one to my sister. She has really short little eyelashes and I keep telling her she has to try this mascara. I should give her a Quattro. Over is back in stock right now, so you can order it now. If you want a link to order the makeup, you can do hashtag beauty. Hashtag beauty. Um, if you want to order the foundation products that I use, a lot of them are linked down there. So if you want to get a discount on products, go down there. If you want to go to the regular website to see all the products, then you would do hashtag beauty. But yeah, over is a really nice neutral color. So it pretty much goes with every, everything, but it's pretty. Frosty lip would match the shadow perfectly. Oh, I'm just loving the idea of this frosty lip. I'm so excited. You guys are way ahead of the game today on the lips because I wasn't even thinking about lips yet. This just makes it so much easier. We still have to do my nails after this. I'm gonna do our neon nails. Ooh. I low-key wish I had some, I wish I had some nails that match my toes, but I don't have any. I mean, I have some nude ones, but I don't want to wear them again because I already wore them. I want to. I want to wear a new pair. I just went on and tried to order it, and it says sold out. Does it? Is it sold out already? Cause Leslie just ordered it. Leslie just ordered it shortly ago, but on the website I saw it. Ordnance. Sorry, it's called ordnance. I keep saying overt, but it's called ordinate. It is in stock. It says add to add to cart. It's called ordinate right here. It is in stock. Just make sure you go on my website, hashtag beauty, hashtag beauty in the comment section. I'll send you the link, um, but that's where you'll find it. All right, frosty pink for the win. So we do need a lip liner to give our lips a little bit of an outline. So I'm gonna use our tried and true world lip liner. This one always looks good with pinks. And then we'll use probably quick getaway, I'm thinking. the corners and then quick getaway easiest frosty lip you can do in two seconds and this is a lip butter um, but I ordered over, not the one. Oh, you, you, you used over. Okay, that's why I'm getting it confused. Sorry, this is the color ordnant. The color I'm wearing is called ordnant. That's my dyslexia for you. It's like mixing words together that are not the same. <laughs> Obsessed with the eyeshadow color today. Isn't this pretty? It's so pretty. It's a very nice smoky eye color. It's not too dark. It's not too gray. It's not too this, it's not too that. It's just, it's just bright. Need to make this kind of match the other side a little bit. There we go. Um, all right, then we're gonna line the lips again. I might actually do, that's really pretty. I might do a little bit of brown with this lip liner. Breath, breathtaking. I thought you were telling me to breathe for a second and I was like, you know, I do tend to hold my breath when I'm doing stuff. <laughs> I thought you were saying, breathe, Hannah. Thank you. There we go. I like to add a little, that brown looks nice. Gives it a little more contrast. And then we're just gonna clean up the lip edge with our brush here. 
clean up any little spots. Thank you. You do too. You hold your breath. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was such a good idea to do the frosty lip. You are a genius. You are a genius. This looks so good. This is so pretty. We need more blush, but this is so nice. A little more blush and bronzer, I think. Now this would look, this look would look so good with the braids, but I can't do the braids on myself. It's too hard. This would look really good with those braids. The Dutch braids, whatever they call them. It's gonna be pretty. The brow, the brown, excuse me, the brown liner. I didn't use a brown liner. I might have to order, oh, the brown lip liner, you mean. I thought you were talking about eyeliner. The lip liner is called Cork by MAC. You might have to order this one as well. Yeah, for some reason, this is the one I thought you ordered. But this one is the color that usually gets slept on. Ooh, okay, the bronzer, beautiful. And then a little more blush. Sis the sisterly blush is linked down there. It's on sale right now. Your eyes match your hair and your shirt. Oh my gosh, we're just, everything's matching today. Hi, Laura, what's poppin'? Oh, it's almost nail time. I'm so excited to have my nails done. I haven't had my nails done for, I don't know, two weeks? Two weeks, I guess it's not been that long. But, out of that blush. Oh, we need lashes. I mean, this look really doesn't even need lashes, but you know I'm not leaving without my lashes on, so we're gonna put lashes on. But really, it looks really good right now, just how it is. All right, lashes. Probably not gonna do the purple ones again because I feel like we need something else. So, what if we just did like an accent lash? Do you think we could get away with just doing an accent lash and not doing a full eyelash? We might, I might be able to pull that off. It depends how thick the lashes are. If the accent lashes are too thick, then it won't work. But we might get it to work. Let me put these lashes back in the case. Um, here we go. We have, see, I don't know if these will work. These might be too thick. These are called cutie lashes, but sometimes you can just do a little half lash like that. I mean, that's really pretty, isn't it? I mean, can you see, can you tell that it's a half lash or does it just look like it blends in? You want it to look blended, which you can actually blend it a little bit better too if you put more mascara on, but let me just actually pop it on and see, you know? There's always this impression that people think you have to put a full lash on, but you definitely don't have to. You just have to make sure that the you put enough mascara on that when you do put a half eyelash on, it all blends together. Because if you don't have enough mascara on, then you'll see. And you don't want to see it. You want it to be blended like that. Wow, that actually looks really good. And it looks very natural. Like it gives us just a little accent, which is really pretty. Ooh, this might be my new favorite thing to do. Wear accent lashes. Right. We need three little magnets. Um, thank you, Olivia. Where do you get the liquid eyeliner? What color is the dark one? I missed that. The liquid eyeshadow? That one is from my website. You can just say hashtag beauty and I will send you the link. Hashtag beauty and I will send you the link to the, where you can find the liquid eyeshadows. I'm wearing the color Ordnant and Reverent. Those two colors. These are really nice colors for fall as well. Looks blended, okay, good. Lashes are from, well, I gotta put it on, it's, it's on, but I'm gonna put it on a little bit closer, closer to my lash line. The lashes are the style cutie. Okay, these are the cutie lashes and I cut them in half. So this isn't a full lash. But, I mean, you could get a bunch of these and just cut them in half and make them into 
lashes, accent lashes like this. But my lashes are pretty thick and long right now. So you would probably want something a little more subtle than these. Something like lovely lashes or hottie lashes would be better. But you want ones like those because they're accented lashes. These are, are not accent. They're like um, winged eyelashes. And the winged eyelashes give you that, that little, this little wing effect on the outer edge. Um, yeah, do hashtag beauty, but don't put a space in there. You don't want any spaces. I'm putting this on for the third time because I'm not getting it close enough. Probably because I'm so far away from my mirror. I can't really see. There we go. Now I got it on. <gasps> Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. New favorite thing to do. Now you guys are going to see me do this for like three weeks straight is only wear accent lashes. It's going to be my new obsession. All right, just a little more mascara. And then we are going to put our nails on. I'll probably leave my hair up until my nails are on so it's not in my face. I'm just putting on a little more mascara on my natural lashes on the inside here just to blend these in even more so that they fit in with the other falsies. And then I always, if I do accented lashes like this, I always add more mascara just on the outside. There you go, yep, hashtag beauty, and I will send you the link where you can find those. Ooh, this look is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm probably not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna do this look over and over all weekend long, because if I find a look that I really like, why try to create a look if you don't know if it's gonna look good? And especially if you have to go places and you don't wanna think too hard about your makeup. So there's a very, very solid chance I'm gonna do this look every single day this weekend. So tomorrow and Sunday. <laughs> Okay, nail time. I'm going to show you how to do your nails at home. This is so fun and exciting. Um, I get these. These are all hand-painted nails. You can get whatever design you want. You can get whatever length you want, whatever shape you want. They are reusable as long as you don't like crack one or something like that or lose one. I would say on average, I usually reuse mine like two to three times. After that, they're usually too beat up to use more than that. But... Um, this is what the ones I'm going to put on. These are short and they are coffin shaped. So that's the style that I have. This is my favorite like everyday nail to wear because they're not too long and you can like do your normal daily activities without feeling like your nails are too long or in the way. I have a question for you. Since you have used both the Glow Complexion Skincare from Unique and the new line, BS, which skincare do you prefer and feel better one to use? I personally am obsessed with the new Beauty Society skincare line. Like the whole regimen is pretty amazing. I also learned that their products are pretty potent, like quite a bit potent, which maybe is why I'm seeing such good results. Um, but they have a lot of ingredients that help with aging and that help with evenness and like, I don't know. Their stuff is really good. Like if you go, if you do hashtag BS and go look at the skincare and read the ingredients and read what they help with, like you will be very impressed. It's very impressive. But personally, I've tried the Glow Complexion. I've tried the Beauty Society now and I prefer the Beauty Society over the Glow Complexion now. I've just seen better results with the Glow Complexion. So, and you know, everybody's skin's different so you kind of have to try things. I really liked the Glow Complexion. That doesn't mean I don't like Glow Complexion, but I've seen much better results with the Beauty Society skincare. So, you know, some stuff just works better for uh, than others, depending on your skin. Everybody's skin is different, but I've noticed such a huge difference in my skin with the Beauty Society skincare. So, there's there's a very, 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 very small chance I would probably go back to Glow Complexion. I'm pretty, I'm pretty obsessed with the Beauty Society skincare now. It's just, I'm telling you give it three weeks you will not touch anything else it's so good so i'm gonna first thing you want to do before you put your nails on go wash your hands um and because you don't want oil on your nails um so i'm gonna go wash my hands really quick
All right, wash your hands really good. Make sure you dry them really good. And then you're gonna wanna trim your nails if they need to be trimmed. My nails are already trimmed. I trimmed them like two days ago, I think. So then what you're gonna wanna do is when you order your nails, you're gonna get this little care package in the back. You're gonna open this. It's gonna have everything that you need to put your nails on. So the first thing you're gonna wanna grab after you trim your nails, push your cuticles back, whatever you need to do. I don't know if I need to push my cuticles back, do I? Not really. I mean, I could for some of them, but they're really not that bad. This one's the only one that's kind of wonky. But then what you're gonna wanna do is grab this alcohol pad wipe. And what this does is this is gonna wipe the oil off your nail. And you need to do that because if you don't, if you have oils on your nails, um, the little stickers won't stick to your nails. So thank you very much for your help. I like I said, I trust your judgment. Well, thank you for trusting me. Yeah, I I just, I don't know. The, the results that I've seen with my skin, with the beauty society skincare has just been really good. And you can't, you can't use it for five days and judge it. You have to use it for at least um, like two to three weeks. That's when I started to notice a big difference. But now I've been using it for two months and it's my skin just looks so much better. It's just so much smoother and soft and it's, it's just like glowing. Like when, if I, if I have no products on my skin at all, my face is just glowing. It's just thriving. I don't know. It's crazy. I didn't think skincare could like do that, but it can apparently. <laughs> so yeah, I really like it. Um, all right. So then what you're going to do like this, the, I love this process because it doesn't just like the, the false lashes, it doesn't damage your natural nails. Okay. These lashes don't damage, these falsies don't damage your natural lashes. These nails don't damage your natural nails. Like it's the best thing ever. And both of these you can reuse. We're all about, um, eco-friendly stuff. So you can reuse this, which is awesome. But second thing, what you're going to do is put the stickers on. So these little stickers are all different sizes. You're going to put the correct size on for each nail. And this is what's going to hold help hold the nail on to your natural nails. And you're gonna actually put glue on top of this nail sticker. That will give you the extra hold, okay? So the sticker kind of protects your natural nail because you're not putting glue on your natural nail. And then the, the glue is gonna really help, help it stay on. Thank you, Corey. Love my energy today. It's because I feel good. I just... You know, the last, I would say this whole year, I just have not been feeling well. I'm sure you guys noticed my energy was just kind of blah this year. And that's just because I didn't feel good. I don't know. I just did not feel good like all year. I don't know what was going on. I went to the doctor. I got all these tests done. They all come back normal and say I'm fine. It's just was frustrating. But lately, I would say the past week, I've been feeling pretty good. So I hope it stays like that. Pray for me. <laughs> if you would like to say a little prayer for me, I would appreciate that, that my health is on the uptrend now and that I can get back to my normal lifestyle. I just started going to the gym as of yesterday because I finally have enough energy to go to the gym. Like I, it, like I just did not feel good. I literally was exhausted. Like I couldn't even work out, it was terrible. And now I, I feel like getting my life back. So I'm so excited I get to work out again and glad I didn't like lose a lot of muscle. I mean, I, I feel like I lost a little bit of muscle, but not like terrible. So, but yeah, I've been feeling a lot better. So thank you. See, here's our nail stickers. I don't remember if I put them both on at once or if I do, if I wait. Uh, we'll we'll put the other ones on once we get these on. So, okay, so then the next thing that you're going to do, sometimes the nail sticker will hang off your nail if your nails, if the nail sticker is longer. So what I like to do is, actually, we'll wait, but I'll usually trim some of it off. So then what you're going to do, actually, let's get our glue ready. You're going to have to, the glue comes in here, you're going to have to cut the top little tip off of this to let the glue come through. This little tip you got to cut off. But I'm going to open one that I already have open. Uh... Did you, my ecliptical and you're still, on. yeah, I'm still on. Um, you lost energy with construction guys stealing your 
You your water? Oh yeah, right. Mm -mm -mm. They have been they're done now, so they shouldn't be back. Um, okay, so here's our I'm gonna make sure there's actually glue in. Okay, there's glue in there. All right, get your glue ready. Then what I do is I just use a little tweezers to get the nail stickers off because it's easier. You're gonna peel that nail sticker off. Now, when you're peeling it off, the little sticker might, the little sticky thing might try to come off. So I just like hold it down with my other finger so it doesn't rip it off. Okay, there's our little nail sticker. Then you're gonna put the glue on top of the nail sticker. Oh, wrong, wrong glue. Put that back, that's the one that's not open. Glue, put a little dot in the center of the nail sticker. And once you have a little dot on, then just like spread it out across the whole nail sticker. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your nail. You're gonna start from the back and then press forward and down. Okay. Back, forward, and down. And you're just gonna hold it down. You're supposed to hold it for like 30 seconds. I probably don't hold it down that long, but the longer you hold it down, the better these will stay on because you don't wanna get air bubbles underneath here. If you get air bubbles underneath here, these will pop off easier. These for me on average stay on like two, two and a half weeks. You might have one nail pop off, but that's probably just cause it got a little bit of air underneath it. And if that happens, you can put it back on really easily. So. But I love these. These are so nice. Long time no see. What's popping, girl? Hi, Kayla. How is, how's it going? How have you been? But look at that. Boom. Our nail is on. Look at how easy that was. And then if you put too much glue on, you might have glue that bubbles up around the sides. If that happens, just grab like a, a towel or whatever, a paper towel, and just wipe it off. But look at that. One to go, four left. I mean, this this part is really easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, now we're gonna do the next one. So you're gonna pull that little sticker off and then this little, this sticker is hanging off my nail. It's a little bit longer, so I'm just trimming some of it off. Then you're gonna put the glue on top and you're gonna dab it out, spread it around. And then once you have it all spread out, then you're gonna grab your nail, start from the back and then just press down and then you're gonna hold it there. See, look at how nice and short these are. These are really, this is a really good length for everyday nails, but we have to block another person. <sighs> a bam, and he is banned from the page. I got my Chanel Lavish Renewed earrings and I absolutely love them. Aren't they so cute? Aren't they so cute? I'm wearing my Chanel ones and I love them. Yeah, I just blocked that guy. He should be gone now. I think he commented right before I blocked him. But, bam! Look at that. So cute. I need to order some new ones. I need some new ones. I don't know. We need some, probably some fall styles pretty soon, hey? Need some fall, maybe gold or, ooh, mm, copper? What if we did copper nails? I don't think I've ever done copper nails before. But um, those are going to look good with your makeup. They are, and they're gonna look good with my camo. The camo pants. There we go. It's like I can't tell if this is coming out or not. It helps if you have if you're by some good lighting so you can see that you put enough glue on around the nail, on the whole nail sticker, I should say. And I just got some on my natural nails. Let's get that off. All right, here we go. Gosh, I'm so excited to have nails on again. This is so exciting. And the nice thing too about this is you don't have to drive to a nail salon. You don't have to sit there and smell all the chemicals or suck up that powder you know, the powder when they file down your nails and stuff. It's just so much cost, uh, so much more cost effective and safer and healthier and you can rewear them and you can put them on a lot faster too. You can put these on in 15 minutes, I would say. 15 minutes, you can get these bad boys on compared to going and getting your nails done. It takes, I would say a minimum of an hour. This would probably take 
probably an hour and a half if they did this in the salon. I would think maybe a little bit more. It depends, I guess, how fast they are, but they would have to shape the nail and then do all that stuff. Kind of a tedious job. I may have missed it. Why do you use the sticker and the glue? It holds it on better and it also protects your natural nail from getting damaged from the glue. But this, this, like I've tried just using the stickers. I've tried just using the glue. And when you use both of them together like this, they stay on so much better. So I just always do them like this now. They're, they will stay on so, so much better. If you do it like this. I like copper, burnt orange. Ooh, burnt orange would be cool. Some burnt orange. Just make sure when you're pressing the nail down, make sure it's not crooked. Because it, if you put it on crooked and then you realize it after it dries, it is really difficult to get off when they're freshly put on. I haven't thought of that good idea. Yeah, it works really, really good. If you haven't tried the glue slash sticker combination, they work really good. Um, the Chanel earrings are from Lavish. You can do hashtag Lavish. That's also where this little locket necklace is from. This is like a little... Louis Vuitton locket necklace. That's also from Lavish. So you can do just do hashtag Lavish and I'll send you the link to them. Oh, very pretty. Look at that. Our nails are almost done. Well, we'll decide anyways. Look at how cute they are. They're so cute. Cute, cute. All right. We've got the last one on this side. This one I gotta trim a little bit because there's excess sticker hanging off. See the excess sticker hanging off the nail? I'm gonna trim that off. So I'm just trimming that off. And when you trim it off, it'll look like that. Okay. Then we're gonna put, oh, there's still a nail sticker on there. What's the rip? We gotta pull the rest of that off. Yeah, make sure you pull all the nail sticker off too because if you are the nail, the, the little thing that goes on top of the nail sticker, if you don't pull all that off, this will not stick on very well. This is why that tweezers comes in handy because this is sometimes hard to get off. There we go. See this, that was still on the sticker. You want to make sure you get all of that off because if you don't, it won't stick well. It'll be half stuck on and then it'll come off and you'll be so confused why it came off. And that would be why. All right, here's our last one. And these, I don't know if you noticed, but two of these nails are, they have like a pearl color to them. Like these are just neon yellow, but then these have pearl, like they fade pearl. They're like yellow and fade pearl color. So they got a little bit of an accent to them, which is kind of fun. This one, we've got a little bit of glue coming off the side, so I'm just gonna wipe that off before it dries. But we are just about done with this side. So exciting. So excited. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking of all these funny voices and memes from TikTok and stuff. Bam, look at that. So before, after. And see, they're not much longer than your natural lashes, or lashes, your natural nails. So these are nice because they don't get in your way. If, you're, if you don't wear nails a lot, these are the style I like to wear for just like every day. These would actually be weak nails, not really weekend nails, but we're making them into weekend nails. Beautiful. So now we're going to put these on. Let's see how easy that is. It's fairly easy. It's just the longest part is waiting for the glue to dry on each nail. That's like the most tedious part, I would say, is just holding the nail in place. But everything else is really easy peasy. Just got to have a little bit of patience and wait for it all to go on. All right, here we go. We're going to do the next side. Put your nail stickers on. Make sure you stick them on really good important that they're stuck down really good. So I make sure I press them down really good so there's no air bubbles. You mentioned fall make makes me think of your old makeup tutorials with Wacky Wednesdays. Oh yeah, like all the crazy makeup looks I would do. Those were always really, those always turned out really cool. They're just like so time consuming to do. They would take forever to do. 
I haven't done any of those in like a really long time. But I still have like a picture of two of them in my closet that I did. Two of them. Oh man, I used the wrong sticker for my middle finger. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Okay. Then... Which nail sticker do I need now? I forgot where I am. I need this, this one, right? Yes, I need this one. This big nail sticker for the last one. Um, good times. What, out of all my wacky Wednesday looks, which one was your favorite? Do you remember a favorite one that I did that you really liked? I'm curious if, because I feel like I did a lot of them. But is there one specifically that you remember that you really liked that I did? I wonder if I still have the artistic touch, if I could still do really good looks like that, or if I, if I need a little bit of practice again. I, part of the reason why I stopped doing that too is I kind of ran out of looks to do. I literally feel like I did them all. You'd have to go back and look. I would say probably one of my favorite ones I did was the leopard one. It, it wasn't like a crazy looking one. I just really liked how it looked with my leopard coat that I had. The coat is cool. I wish those coats were lighter. They're so heavy. It's like... I don't know, 50 pounds you're carrying around. They just feel really, really heavy. Oh man, I got glue on the top of this one. Good thing you can't really see it, but that's a bummer. Got a little bit of glue on top of it. Bam. But, yeah, good times. I wonder, I know, I was gonna say, I wonder if I could paint on canvas like that, but I'm not good at doing portraits. So if, if the portrait was done already and then I painted on top of that, I could probably do something cool, but I'm not really good at drawing faces. I can draw on my face, but to create a face would be really hard. You know, someone who's good at drawing is my sister, Ava. She draws a lot, but she's really good at drawing. She's really good at drawing. The leopard ones, you see, I have a, I have that leopard look printed on a big canvas. It's in my closet, like up top. I was gonna sell them, like I printed three of them and I was gonna sell them and then I never did because I didn't know how to ship them without them getting damaged. Like I was too scared that, you know, someone would buy it and then by the time they got it in, in the mail, it would be all damaged because you know the mail people are so aggressive with mail box, like mail items now. So I was like, that just seems sketchy. That would suck, you know, if you paid for a picture like that and then it came in the mail all damaged. Did I put that one on crooked or my nail just, no, my finger is just literally curves to the, just curves to the side. I was like, is my nail, my nail just goes away. My finger goes like that. Um, why haven't I hung them up? I have not hung them up. They're in my closet, like at the top of my closet, but I haven't hung them up because, I don't know. I feel like it's weird to have pictures of yourself on the wall. Maybe it's not weird. I mean, people have pictures of them with their families on the wall and stuff, but I don't know. I don't need to look at my face. You know what I mean? <laughs> I look at my face every day. But, I mean, it is considered art, so I could. Just think it's kind of weird sometimes, you know? I have, the only picture I have of myself on the wall that's just me is a picture that someone drew of me. Like, it's a drawing, and it's really cool. That one I put on the wall. But that one, like, I didn't do, you know, somebody else did. So to me, it's a little bit different. But. 
so excited to have nails. It's just so exciting. I gotta find that vo that voice clip. I think it's Kevin Hart and he's going so exciting. Cause now I have that voice stuck in my head. It is, it's Kevin Hart. That's the voice I have stuck in my head now. Oh my gosh, you can tell I've been seeing too many memes lately because that's all I think of is these voices. It is a really good drawing though, yeah. I mean, somebody spent all the time to draw a picture of me. I was like, that needs to get hung up. You know what I mean? That would be a shame if that one was not hung up. So that one I did hang. It's in my office. exciting we got our nails almost done we got two nails left well technically one nail after this one it's gonna be popping with these nails on so excited mm. I don't know should we do anything with my hair have you ever did the ruby red lipstick in your makeup live uh, yes, I did do, I pretty sure, yeah, I did a makeup live with that. I did it last week. Last week I did that. I'm pretty sure. Right? I'm pretty positive I did that on live. That ruby lip, red lipstick. Turned out so pretty. Wow. Perfection. We have one more nail left and we are golden. are golden it's so it's so weird because so the birds are so quiet right now and this outside is quiet it's so nice been so used to hearing ruckus the last couple weeks so there's doing so much construction around here and like neighboring areas and you can just hear it from miles away and it's so loud all the time it's so nice that it's so quiet today peaceful Good day to go eat my lunch on the deck outside. Last nail for the win. Last nail coming in hot. Make sure it's on straight before I hold it down. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is great. See, like when they're when I wear short nails like this, I usually leave them on a lot longer. If I wear long nails, like medium to long, they only stay on for like a week and then I take them off. When they're short like this, they, these will, I'll usually keep them on a lot longer because they don't get in my way. The long nails get in my way when I'm trying to do stuff. When I'm trying to like clean my cars and stuff, I just get annoyed and then I'm like, nope, time to go. But with these, I can rock these longer without them being annoying. Hey, Sandy was popping. Fancy. How about a side braid? Oh, a side braid would probably be cute with our with our um, camel pants and everything. Okay, hopefully that's dry enough. I don't really know if that thumb one is dry enough, but sometimes like I don't feel like holding it for the full time because I'm like, if it pops off, I'll just reapply it, whatever. But good enough for me. I just want them on so I can wear them. And then I all like all the stuff that comes in here, I just put back in the case so that I have it for next time. Or if you need to touch up any nails, you have them. But ba bam, there's our nails. Looks like you just got your nails done at the salon, but you got them done in the house. We gotta do the nail a ASMR, and we need glass. Yay, okay. You're saying a side braid, like down the side. That would be cute. We need to brush this crazy hair first and we need a little hair tie. A little hair tie, look at this crap. Hair is so pretty. 
I cleaned my car inside and last week it looks, it took me four hours, oh my goodness. That doesn't surprise me, it takes me a while to clean my cars. I kind of take my time. The, oh yeah, nails, I never told you where to get the nails from. If you would like to check out where I get my nails from, you can do hashtag nail, hashtag nails, and it will send you a link to where to find them. Hashtag nails, and you can get any of the nail designs that they have on there, or you can order a custom set. Now, if you've never ordered nails before, they have a nail sizing chart. You wanna order that first, because then you'll know what sizes to get. You only need to order it once, which is nice, um, but then you literally just measure it to your nails, and then you write it down, and then when you go to order these, you know exactly what size you need to fit your nails. Okay, but make sure you do that first, because if you don't, they might be too small or too big for your nail bed. So, order the nail sizing kit first, and that'll give you time to pick out like a, a nail style you wanna do. All right, we need a little clear rubber band or something. Here we go. All right. Side braid, I usually do braids on this side, I'm pretty sure. This necklace is getting very tangled up with this today. I feel like I need to put a different necklace on. I think I'm gonna swap this one out with the other one that I usually wear, which is the dangly one. Cause this one just keeps getting wrapped up in this other necklace and it's getting annoying. Yep, hashtag nails for a link to the nails. We'll put this one on instead. This one's from the same website as my beads are from. Um, hashtag beads for a link to this dangly necklace or the beads but this is um this is my go-to necklace to wear with the cross necklace and everybody thinks this is one necklace all together but they're actually two separate necklaces but this necklace is really nice because you can layer it with other necklaces that are dainty like this so it just looks really good with the cross necklace it just oh it just gives a little spruce spruce okay this is I should have thought of this before I put nails on because this is tricky with nails. Cause I can't feel the little, I can't feel the little circle thing. Okay. I got it. But yeah, see this necklace looks really nice with the cross necklace. It's like perfect. They look so good together. Um, do you use lounge products on your hair or what products do you use? Um, I've been using this natural shampoo bar lately just to switch it up. And then I still use the same deep hair conditioning mask from Lange. So if you want to link to that, just say hashtag hair. My husband came out and said, oh my, you're really going for it. That's hilarious. But it's so nice getting into a clean car, isn't it? I love getting into a clean car. I just, I love a clean house. I love a clean car. It's just wonderful. It's like the best feeling. Just like things to be clean. Makes me, makes my ADHD brain happy. All right, here we go. Braids, I'm having a little bit of a I hear the dinosaurs outside. The big birds, they're called cranes, but they sound like dinosaurs. I hear them. My husband said the other day when he was leaving for work, they were right outside by his truck and it scared the crap out of him. And I was like, they're probably looking for me because I haven't fed them in a couple days. So they're probably like, where is the lady that feeds us? Tell, Go get her and tell her to come feed us. That's probably what it is. This hair is like all sticking together. Let me try this again. Hi, Emily, what's poppin'? You'd be so upset with me. You gave up on yours, your car? Or your house? Cleaning? You know, cleaning can be overwhelming when you let it get a little too messy, but one way that makes it easy to clean 
is just to put headphones in and put some music on. It makes it so much more enjoyable. Like if you're just trying to clean and you have like no music or you're not listening to a podcast or something, it makes it really difficult to clean. But if you put some headphones on and you put a podcast on or you put some music on, it'll go by so much faster. So that's my little hack for you. That's what I do when I'm not motivated to clean is I put some music on or I listen to a podcast or something. Because I mean, if you're gonna listen to a podcast, you don't wanna just sit there and do nothing. So it kind of like you're doing two things at once and it's so much easier and it makes the cleaning go by so much faster. And then once you get into it, you know, it's kind of like, you're just like, oh, you know, and you get a lot of stuff done. Like the other day I went through our fridge and I hate going through our fridge, but put some music on and it was so much easier. Put some music on and I was having a good time cleaning cleaning out the fridge. Oh, I forgot this little piece there. Let me go back up. Yeah, that's my, that's my cleaning hack. You can also use that for working out. You know, there's nothing like if you're working out with no music, it's not fun. You need music that gets you excited, like upbeat music though. You don't want to listen to sad music. You need like happy music, happy music that puts you in the vibe that gets you excited. Even if you don't feel happy or you feel kind of blah, just put it on, okay? Because everything's energy. And if you need to feel happy, you need to listen to happy stuff. So you need happy music. I, <clears throat> I like to listen to house music. That's my happy music is house music because it's always very upbeat and it's like a party. And I love that. I'm like, I'm having a party in my house cleaning. It's great. House music is the best. I am wearing ornament today, yes. You're so smart. I am. I'm wearing ornament. Isn't it beautiful? Here's a close up. Ornament with uh, Red Ren. That's the liquid shadow combo today. If you guys want a link, just do hashtag beauty. I will send it to you. Do I need to? Man, I love the idea of the half braid. This is so cute. I'm thinking if we should like pull some pieces down or just leave it. I can't decide. I don't know. What do you think? Should we leave it like this or should I pull some little pieces down in the front? What do you think? Ordinate. Um, so pretty, right? Uh, I don't know. I can't decide. Delish. Having my turmeric drink today. This is from you. If you want to link to this, you can do hashtag you. But if you have any type of inflammatory issue, whether it's skin or it's in your body, any kind of like, you know, arthritis, anything that's inflammatory, you want to take turmeric. Turmeric is very anti-inflammatory. Take this every day. You can just get turmeric as a powder, but you want to make sure you have it with black pepper. This has black pepper in it. And that like makes it all work together. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Okay, we'll leave it. Um, I put my music on when I walk. Yeah, it makes it so much easier, doesn't it? Like when you go for a walk or clean or whatever. So if you pull down, looks good, but get a face doing some, or get, oh wait, that's true. Yeah, if you pull hair down and then it gets in your face, that's very true. It's nice to, oh, it's a little windy. I'm like, it's nice. It's not super windy out today, but it is a little windy, so. But here's our finished look of the day. Thanks for coming on the live today. So if you need links for anything, say hashtag nails for a link to the nails, I will send them to you. And then if you would like a link to the little cross necklace, you can do hashtag cross. I will send you a link to this one. It's just a little dainty cross. It comes in gold. This is the gold one or it comes in silver. If you want a link to this little dangly necklace or the beads that I'm wearing today, you can do hashtag beads. And then I'm just wearing my my brown monogram Gracie bracelet today. You can say hashtag bands for a link to this. I never wear Reverend, I'm going to try it. You should, you should totally try it. It looks really good. It looks really good with that. This, if you need a link for this, you can do hashtag lavish. Link to eyelashes, you can do hashtag lashes. These are only half lash. We don't even have a full eyelash strip on. We only have a half section on. And this is the style cutie and I just cut them in half. So you can do hashtag lash for link to eyelashes. And then for makeup, 
A lot of it is pinned down here and you can bundle it together and get a discount. But if you don't see an item that you want in this link down here, you can just do hashtag beauty and I will send you a link to my full makeup um, line, like all of it. And then if you wanted to check, check out the skincare, you can do hashtag BS. If you are confused by the skincare and there's too much stuff to pick from, just say hashtag quiz. It'll send you a quiz. You just take the quiz and it tells you what to get. So um, I think that's all, right? I think that's all we got today. But I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe I'll see you this weekend if I decide to come live again. We'll see. But thanks for popping on. Thank you for sharing the video. If you shared the video, thank you so much for sharing. If you're going to share the video, thank you for sharing. And oh, fancy mirrors. We forgot. Yeah, if you need a link to the new little mini fancy mirrors, these are called mini tailors. You can do hashtag fancy. Okay. And this is the size difference. This is the one I always wear for makeup application or use. And then this is the new mini sizes. So it's like half the size. So cool. Little minis. They're so cute. Little babies. Little baby mirrors. Oh, I love little things. Like anything that's little, I'm just like, ooh, so cute. Give me 10 of them. <laughs> but like, look at this. this is, I literally just bought this perfume because I liked it because it's a miniature heel. Look at how cute that is. But I can't wear it. It's too stinky for me. <laughs> It's like, it smells so good, but I'm so sensitive to perfumes that I just can't wear stuff that's too, too much. You know what I'm saying? But I just got it because it's a heel. See, I like the mini things. Um, uh, I have Taylor and Abigail, but not the mini Taylors. Oh my goodness. You should get one. They're so cute. Look at how cute they are. Like here's the little charging port, but like, this is so cute. So you know it has like the little button inside. It's got the little button right there. Look at how little the button is in here. It's so cute. It's like a it's like a mirror for my bird. Look at how little it is. It's just a little button. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. So cute. I'm clicking through the the phases too fast, but now it's off. Look at how cute. It's adorable. If you have a small purse, it'll fit in a small purse too. We tried it out earlier. Here's my look. I'll show you all back up. So you can see my look of the day. I'm still debating if I'm going to wear these camel pants or if I'm going to switch out. I can't decide if I really like, I don't really like this. I don't think I like this top with these camel pants. I think I'm going to put my other ones on. Um, yeah. Or put, I might just put regular pants on. I'm not really digging the camel pants today. I just don't, I feel like these, since these camel pants come up so high, like they come up to my belly button. I feel like I need a crop top with this. Um, yeah, if you want a link to the mirror, just say hashtag fancy. Yeah, so like with with um, pants that come up really high, you almost want a crop top. Um, so yeah, I don't really feel like wearing a crop top today though because it's kind of cold out. So I'm probably going to change my pants to something else. But it's 3.15, yep. But I'm going to go. Thanks for hopping on. I'll see you later. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.